what to do with Taiwan's fruit. Since China banned the import of Taiwanese pineapple in 2021, the hunt for new buyers has been a headache for farmers. The Council of Agriculture has set its sight on Japan and Singapore as potential customers, but this year it looks like they'll miss export targets by as much as 30 percent. We took a trip to the pineapple farms of Jai to meet a Japanese agriculture retailer who likes the look of Taiwan's harvest, but he says some changes are needed if Taiwan wants to woo Japan for real. A harvest of pineapples sits ripened in the field. Since China banned the import of Taiwanese pineapple, the COA has worked hard to find other export channels. Now Japanese agriculture retail giant Farm Mind has sent its international manager Liu Lun to Jiayi to check out the pineapple farms here. I chose this moment to come to Taiwan particularly because the harvest season is about to end, but there's still fruit. I want to understand Taiwan's farming better, all the steps, from cultivating the seeds and seedlings to production management, inspection and packaging. We want to keep pushing improvement in production and preparing properly for what's coming. We are really optimistic about the future. In the past, Taiwanese pineapples were mostly grown and sold locally. Japanese merchants want to establish more industrialized processes to upgrade the pineapples sold to Japan and outcompete market rivals. The superior varieties plus the superiority in growing. Because probably we all know there are several countries growing golden diamond pineapples, but they don't produce the same flavor as those from Taiwan. I think they're perfect for short distance export. When they're very ripe, consumers will be really impressed by how delicious they are. The COA admits its original goal of exporting 30,000 tons of pineapple this year may not be feasible. However, with the farm prices of pineapple rising to 24.44 NT per kilogram, they are confident that farmers' rights can be protected.